Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Today we've got a little bit of an unboxing, as you guys can see. It's from Beast Coast Fishing. Uh, some of their new products and some restocks that I had been using um, over the summer. Uh, and so yeah, let's just get right into it. I haven't done an unboxing since the beginning of bass fishing season. And now it's the end of bass fishing season, so... It's been a minute. As you guys can see here, some soft plastic goodies. Some baits that I haven't tried before and then some staples. Um, so let's get into some baits I haven't tried before. So starting off with the drop shot baits, these are the Magic Flicks uh, by Beast Coast. They've been out for a while, I just personally have never looked into them and, and picked any up. So with this order, I decided to do that. Uh, you know, I've been doing so well in the other soft plastics that they make, so I figured I'd give it a go. Uh, but as you guys can see here, I got a couple different colors. It's a four inch bait right there, you guys can see. This is in Bass Candy, a nice green pumpkin with some orange fleck. This one kind of reminds me of like electric chicken in uh, the, in the uh, crappy baits. It's called Bankroll. A little bit of a lighter profile, kind of imitates perch. I got a nice little shiner color here, a minnow color, perfect for the fall. And this one right here is the Truth. That's uh, my favorite looking bait right there. Kind of looks like a, like a baby bass color. Uh, personally, I think that's the first one I'm going to throw. You guys can see here, it has like a, a bait fish a body to it, a little bit rounder, and that tail has a, it's, it's a little bit of a thinner tail, kind of reminds me of the, I think it's the Strike King Kill Shot, or the a Dream Shot, but kind of has that same idea there, but that looks great. Next up, I restocked on the Flipping Delights. The Flipping Delights were probably uh, my most productive flipping bait this year, um, from start, from bass opener, all the way up till actually today. Um, they've been catching. They're a little bit smaller bait, as you guys can see. Um, a little bit of a stiffer body as well, a little bit stiffer plastic. Uh, but overall, I have a great kicking action and I've been doing very well on them, which is why I picked up some more. So uh, this is Bruised, which is their uh, black and blue flick. Dark Green Pumpkin, which has been getting the most action in my boat, which is just a green pumpkin with black flick. Another dark green pumpkin. This is Dirt Bug. Uh, this is a pretty sweet color. I'll show you guys this one. So three and a half inch bait. You guys can see on the top of this color, it's a lighter like watermelon pumpkin. And on the bottom, it's a darker green pumpkin with uh, black and blue flecks. So it's a nice like two tone color. Kind of best of both worlds. Uh, but I've been using a 3 aught hook with these guys. I know some guys use 4 and 5 aught. Uh, I like to use the smallest hook I can get away with, and uh, 3 aught seems to be working uh, well for these baits. But like I said, they are a little bit stiffer than something like striking, so you do have to set the hook a little bit harder. Another dirt bag color. Okeechobee Craw, which is a green pumpkin with a lighter green, like a watermelon green on the bottom with blue fleck, so it's a little bit brighter. And this is chartreuse pumpkin. I'm excited to try this one. Green pumpkin on top, chartreuse and black fleck on the bottom. I'm going to be a sick jig trailer this color as well. Next up, some more Blade Runners. Um, I've been using these on my Chatterbait. They are a Chatterbait Spinnerbait trailer. Uh, two colors that I haven't used. This is Heat. I picked this color up for next spring, uh, early season bass. Uh, those craw colors seem to work well. And this is Chartreuse Pumpkin. Same idea as the Flipping Delight. Green Pumpkin with Chartreuse and Black Fleck. Just a little bit of an accent. 
uh, to some of the chatter baits I'm throwing, so I'm excited to try that. And last, oh, not last. We got some Miyagi's to restock. I went through uh, like two packs like trout fishing this year, so uh, Barber stops in there first. This is Dope Gill, one of my go-tos. It imitates bluegill perch really, really nicely, a little bit of a darker color, uh, which I like. This is, oh, this is the uh, discontinued color, which I had to stack up, stock up on because I went through all of them. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's just like a shad color. The lake trout uh, I fish for really, really like this color. I've had a lot of luck with it. Um, so I, I asked the guys over at Beast Coast if they had any left and they got two packs of those. And this is Beast Coast Shad. So a little bit of a gray top, translucent bottom, and some blue and silver fleck in there. Uh, nice, natural shad imitator right there. And last, but not least, some Crete. Now I saw this color and I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the perfect fall smallmouth and um, and lake trout color. This is called Big AR's Big Sexy. So it's like a it's like a sexy shad color, but it's more like a like a white or a pearl than anything else. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this color. I'm probably gonna end up picking up some Miyagi's in it as well, but uh, this is gonna be a killer, a killer multi-species bait right there. So that is all we got in the unboxing today. Uh, like I said, mostly a restock, trying some new baits, trying some new colors, and uh, yeah, we're going to see how the, how the baits work out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave the link to uh, Beast Coast's website down below in the description. You guys can have a look. Sell a lot of jigs, a lot of uh, tungsten jigs as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.